Hi, this is David. Today we are talking about Azure Media Services. Azure Media Services are a really good way of managing and sharing media like audio and video online. Uh, in order to get started with Azure Media Services, we're going to log into our Azure portal, portal.azure.com. If you don't have a, an Azure account, you can go to azure.com and create one for free. And like just about anything else at Azure, we'll start by clicking this big plus button right here and searching for whatever it is we're searching for. In this case, Media Services, right there. Click on Create. This will allow us to create an Azure Media Services account. Um, we have to add a uh, resource group here. We can select one if we've created it already, or we can create a brand new one here. I'll call this GCast RG. And then we'll give our Media Services account a name. I'll call it GCast AMS. Uh, a location, I'll put it East US is fine. It's close to where I live in Chicago. And we need to select a storage account because we're going to store some media files, some audio and video files, and also some of the metadata around that as well. I'm going to create a brand new storage account for this, but you could select an existing one if you want. But I like to keep them together, so I'll call GCast AMS Storage is what I'll call it. Make sure it's unique, and that's all good. Click OK here, and for some reason I didn't actually select it, so let me make sure I select it there. And the rest of these things I can leave by the default, but I do have to check this. I want to say that I promise not to share anything that I don't have rights to before I click the Create button. And this will take, oh, about 30 seconds or so to actually create uh, the resource group, the storage account, and the media services account, tie them all together, and they'll be available for us to use. And that's enough time for me to tell you that you may have noticed that I did create some videos about Azure Media Services very early on in this series, a couple of years ago, and I decided to, to create some new ones because the interface has changed a lot and the capabilities have changed quite a bit, so I wanted to share that with you here. So as I do this here, wait a few more seconds, and there we go, go to resources, didn't take very long at all, and here we are, there's the resource group, it's active, it's in the East US, etc, etc, um, and now we want to add some media to this, and media is uh, defined as assets, we want to create what's called an input asset, something that I've created myself will be used as input and other things that I'll show later on. Now here's here on the assets blade, you'll see there, there are no assets listed right now, but we can add them by uploading from a local file. So let's do that. We want to store it in our storage account. If I had more than one I would select it here, but I only have one. And then I'll click here to select a file. And I've got a file here called AMS Awesome. In fact, uh, probably what I want to do is show you that really quickly. Right here. Azure Media Services That's the video, that good looking guy right there is the one that I want to add to Azure Media Services. So here I am, I'll select it, click open right here, and it'll provide a name for it, for the asset. Um, do you see there's a, a name suggested right here, but I'll, I'll say, uh, I'll call it David uh, Video, how about that? And then I'll agree to the fact that I own the rights to that video, It'll upload it, it'll place it into this Azure storage account right here, and it'll associate it with an asset. And so when I close this, when I close this blade right here, you'll see that now on the assets page I have listed David Video. That's the name of the asset. And if I open up that and I see the details of it, then um, right here, the storage container, there's a link to that right here. Let me click on that and then you'll see that in a new tab, it opens up the Azure storage account that I created, and within that there is a blob storage container, and within the blob storage container there is one blob, and that's that file, AMS underscore awesome dot MP4, the one that I just uploaded. So the asset is associated with a container in Azure storage, and the container can contain one or more files. In this case, just one file right here. So that's how we add an asset to Azure Media Services. Stay tuned. 
in the next video I'm going to show you how to encode that video and share it with others. This is David. Thank you for watching. Thank you.